Hey, so I got the question, how would you invest $150,000 into real estate if you were just getting started? By the way, my name is Brandon, host of the Bigger Pockets podcast, wrote a bunch of real estate books, and uh, now I'm making this video. How would I invest $150,000 if I was just getting started? The first thing I would do is I would stick that money in the bank and not touch it for a little bit. Here's why. There's a lot of ways to screw up when you're getting into real estate. And when you have money, it becomes dangerous to just throw around money. So before you buy anything, do some research. I would read at least three real estate books, listen to a couple dozen podcasts, listen to some audio books, attend some webinars. I'm not saying go and pay $50,000 for some guru to give you a bunch of workbooks. I'm just saying like, do your basic education, get a good broad overview of it, uh, of what you want to do. In fact, I always recommend starting with like a 40,000 foot level view. And then as you feel like fired up about certain types of real estate, lean into it. Oh, flipping sounds really fun. Oh, house hacking sounds cool. Find out what sounds cool and then pursue that. Uh, I wrote a book called How to Invest in Real Estate on that very topic, like broad overview so you can then zoom in. Uh, so start with that. Second, once you find what fires you up, uh, I would not invest all that money. I would probably start, let's just say like this. Let's just say you wanted to buy rental properties. Great. Maybe you go buy a rental property that's $300,000. What would you need for a down payment on a $300,000 property? Now, 10% would be 30 grand, 20% would be 60 grand. So I'd probably buy like a $300,000 property for around $60,000. Put down 60 grand, buy that property. Now, you still got another 90 left over that you could use next time. Honestly, I might not even buy the 300. I might try to buy something cheaper, 200, 150. Maybe it's in the Midwest. Maybe it's at a distance. But I would try to get started maybe that way. That said, if you have that money and you have no time available to you, you're just very busy or you are a high level executive or you have a job that makes a lot of money, but you don't have a lot of time. There are passive ways to invest. Like you could put your money into like a real estate syndication or a fund. Like I have a company that does that. Uh, we're called open door capital. And so like you could put your money with a, a syndicator or you could put your money into like a crowdfunding company, like crowdfunding, which is where you basically put your money in and then they lend it out to like house flippers. Uh, or you could buy turnkey, which are companies that will find the property, rehab it, and then sell it to you. And then they'll manage it for you uh, out of state. Like they'll take care of everything for you. Now you got to make sure you do your numbers right because in all of this, make sure you do your numbers right. But it's totally doable. So again, it's a hard question. How do I invest $150,000? Because I don't know you. I don't know your goals. I don't know where you're going. I would just say, start with education. Get a broad level. Focus down on something. Once you feel that fire, lean into it. Become an expert. And then start small in that niche. And uh, ultimately, I think you're going to do just fine. Now, hey, if you like this video, give a little thumbs up below the video. Let people know that it's good. Follow us on Bigger Pockets over on YouTube and on Instagram. And you can follow me personally at Beardy Brandon over on Instagram. I'm like a 13 year old girl at the amount I post over there. Uh, so for biggerpockets.com, my name is Brandon signing off.